Good evening and welcome back to RimWorld. I'm Modi Operandus. We're back at Septim with this centipede guy still sitting at our doorstep here. And, uh, I mean, really, we need, a, like, a, like, a classic attack here somehow. Let's see, how her, how's her health doing? She's still in severe pain. I don't want to send her out there just yet. She's our best bet for everything, though, as far as, uh, getting this thing taken care of. If we can get some better weapons, that'd be another option, but we don't have anybody to trade with yet, do we? Let's see here. Thatcher's Hamlet. Nope. Nobody, nobody in range to trade with, unfortunately. What else can we do here? Anything? Is there anything we can do? There's no other defenses we have that we can make. We could try to set up another turret. Let's see what the range on this one is. It needs to be three blocks forward of that one. If I set it up like right there, like right here maybe, it's a matter of getting enough cover on it is the problem. Um, okay, I guess we can try it. I guess we can try it. We gotta do something else here because we're not gonna be able to do this. Uh, let's see if we can get him in range. Put it right there, he'll be in range. All right, and then we need to put power in like this. Like that, okay. This has got to happen. This has got to happen. Are you still drafted? You're still drafted, Hillary. Why are you drafted? All right, we're going to send some people out there. It's dangerous. It's going to be dangerous work. I wish Weber could do something here. Actually, Weber, you could do something. You can actually distract him. How about that? How about you distract him from Hillary? You provide cover for her. I know you're still injured and all that, but you got some treatment at least, so you can get back in the fight. He still has not hit this turret one bit. Oh, maybe he'll get struck by lightning. That'd be perfect. Going after oh, Weber's gonna distract him. He's going after Weber now. It's perfect. Oh, we got him! Oh my God! Oh wow! We can actually cancel this right away then. Let's 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 cancel these orders on this whole thing here. Oh my God! That was awesome! Wow, we did it. Um, Weber, good shot, man. You are useless. You, I, I regret calling you useless this entire time now. Um, that was great, 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 great. Okay, so now we need to get this AI core from over here. Uh, and all this good stuff over here, so we need to make sure this is set to uh, pick up here. And we can bring it over to our base. And that AI core is going to be used for making our ship when we finally want to get off the planet here. Uh, and that's basically the end of the game, but we need that for our ship, basically, in order to escape. Alright, so now we need... What else do we need now? We, okay, so everybody's going to haul this stuff, which is perfect. I don't mind that at all. Um, there's a little bit of fire going on over here. I guess we'll just let it go. I don't want to risk anybody getting killed for that. Uh, there's some metal over here I could have you guys pick up too, as long as you're running back and forth, I might as well let you do it. Just do not run through the fire, okay? I don't trust him. I don't trust him to not run through the fire, so we're gonna actually set that all to, to, to forbidden right now, until that fire goes out. I just have a feeling like they're just gonna, like, jet right into the fire for some reason. Uh, it could happen. Oh, what do we have here? <sighs> every, every colonist of the male gender winces in pain. Some distant ha engine of hatred is stirring. It's projecting a... a a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that only seems to affect the male gender. People's moods will be a little worse. Okay, so only only actually Jensen has to worry about that, right? Yeah, he's the only male we have, and so his thoughts are going to be a little bit negative and impact. But he's uh he's doing pretty good still. He's doing all right. I think he'll be okay. Let's see what else we have going on here. We have a uh, trade ship passing by. Exotic goods trader. Oh, that'd be cool. We have... Yeah, we already saw that. I missed that one before. But uh, And then we have TZ Company, which we missed. Okay, so let's see if we can get... Weber to uh, call the exotic goods trader here. So what does he have? He has muffalo leather button downs. He has armor vest. Oh, armor vests. Oh, that might be a good idea. Power claws. Oh, man. Powerful hand replacement consisting of three deadly claws. That's amazing. Oh, they have an AI. We can sell them back. Oh, man. Look how much money we can sell that AI Persona Core for if we wanted to get rid of it. Now, it's like I said, it's a rare thing, so we're not going to do it. But if we ever need a ton of money, that would be huge. And actually, he's selling one, too. He's actually selling one for 6000 so that's pretty cool. Uh, he has gold for sale as well. He has 928 gold for $17 a piece. We could sell, we could buy from him. I don't think we need gold for anything though yet. Uh, metal we're doing okay on. We could use a little bit more. Wood we we're perfect on. We could actually sell off some of our wood to get some cash. Let's sell off like 100 wood. 150, 100, 200 wood. Because we can always get more wood. That's not a big problem. That's just like a big way to make money in this game is, is by selling off wood and other goods like that. So we'll sell off 100, 200 wood to uh, the HJ traders here, and we'll accept that to get 94 in return. And then Jensen is on, uh, he's he's plant cutting right now. Let's set up Jensen, because we never had a chance to do this before. Okay. Wardening is a 4. She's a 10. So we're going to turn him off of Wardening. Cooking. Let's see. Hillary is a 5. Pearl is, Pearl is good at everything. Man, Pearl's got a 6 for cooking. That's pretty cool. Uh, I guess we'll keep them both on that. Three, so he's a 3, so we're not going to do that. He's a 0 for shooting. I'm not going to have him do that. Uh, constructing, I can have him put him on that for two. 
Uh, we'll put him on as repairing as well. Growing. Oh, he's really good at growing. Well, that's fantastic, actually. We'll take her off of growing then and put him on growing. And that'll make, make that his main thing here. We have a 5-5 five, five, and a 5 for mining. So we'll put him on mining as well. Plant cutting is a 3. That's fine. We'll put him on plant cutting for 1. Uh, crafting is a... We'll put him on a, a, a 1 for that because we don't really have anything to craft just yet. And actually researching, he's a 3. And we have actually we probably have enough guys we can rather research now. So let's put him on a researching as a 1. Everything else is going to fall to the wayside, I think, if we put that on a 1, though. Um, I'd rather he research after he's done with everything else. So as long as there's no crafting... Uh, let's see, plant cutting, let's put down to, down to a three. Constructing, okay, so as long as there's no construction or growing to do, he will be researching. That's fine, that's fine. We can actually, hey, should we want to turn growing down too? Okay, let's put growing as, let's put these as a four. And put, put researching, so researching will be the second priority, crafting will be his first, and then constructing will be his first as well. Because I just like to have things built quickly. And then researching he'll be doing all the time otherwise. So now we can actually set up our research bench finally. We're making some progress here now. This is this is good. We're doing really well now. Miscellaneous research bench. Uh we can make it out of we can make it out of other things? We can make it out of wood? Interesting. I think I'll just do metal. If it's 90 metal or if it's or if it's 50 metal. I think it's just let's just make it out of metal. Or we can make it out of silver if we wanted to and be really classy. That looks really cool, but we want a wooden research bench? I guess it would make sense to do something like that. Um, where can we put this thing? It's so monstro- it's such, such a monstrosity. Okay, let's put it here. And we'll put a room around it eventually here. Eh, I don't know. It doesn't work very well anywhere. Um, well, we are going to be moving this room around, so maybe we should take his bed out. And now that everybody's kind of recovered, we can actually set these as non-medical. Because we don't have anybody injured anymore. And... Okay, so we're going to do our experiment with the rooms here, I think, now. So we'll take this bed out, or should we build the walls first? Okay, let's do the walls first. So if we want to make this interior 6x6, six six, we'll go structure, wooden conduit walls. Is this, are these conduit walls, or are these regular walls here? Wood walls. Okay, so we just put wooden walls through there. Um, might be a mistake, might not be, but we'll see. So we'll go wooden wall through here, like this. And we'll go, uh, like this. Make this room one bigger. And then we'll have a deconstruct order on all of this wall here. And this is our this is our attempt at a six by six room. Oh, we got another issue here. A roof has collapsed. Oh no! Wood was crushed. Oh, I forgot that if we take out the whole wall here, the roof falls on top of us. Forgot about that. Oh well. Weber is fully healed. Awesome. Everyone's back to 100%. And uh, oh well, uh, you didn't finish up Hillary's room for her, Jensen. You should have should have kind of finished that up for her. We're going to get a Warthog in the house here in a second. Oh yeah, here it comes. Here he comes. He's coming in. Oh my god, we have a Warthog in the house. Seriously, Weber, deal with this. Orders. Hunt this Hunt this guy right here. Seriously, he, he just barges into our house. He does not deserve to live. Uh, we can actually set up a, a bill for this. We have a couple of animals to slaughter. And we'll pick up this Boom Rat here. He's almost, he's almost not fresh anymore. Come on, Weber. You can do it. There you go. Yeah, we'll set up another animal. Actually, we can set up another animal there, too. Alright, so now we have a bigger room. Now we have to wait until nighttime so we can see how the actual mood is impacted here. Because they should be getting spacious environment while they're in here now. Let's see, thoughts. Uh, not spacious environment yet. Come on, you. There we go. Okay, so let's see if... Uh, let's Weber. Why don't you, what, can we draft you and see if you have any thoughts about this room? What are your thoughts on this room? Spacious interior. Okay, so she's getting the spacious interior bonus. And then the idea here is that we can, um, well, first we should put a floor in here. Floors. Yeah, we'll just do wood floor on all of it now. Let's, I don't like this patchwork floor we did before. Um, it's going to waste the stone that we put down, unfortunately, but that's okay. And then we'll actually deconstruct this bed, deconstruct this bed, and then we'll put in two new beds. And we'll have people sharing some. We'll have people sharing rooms here, but that'll be okay, I think. We'll have that'll be okay. We'll go bed here, bed here, and we'll see how this goes. And then maybe, oh, well, we can probably. Sorry, we can undraft you, Weber. Let go about your business, whatever business you want to do here. I don't know what you actually do during the day. All right, so now we should try. We'll try this whole sharing a room thing and see if it works. Now the spacious interior should provide the five bonus, and then the sharing the bedroom will provide a negative five, I think. So it'll break even, which is fine. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so let's see what his thoughts are. He is sharing a bed. Oh, it's a negative eight. But spacious interior is a five. 
So we're actually negative three only as far as his mood goes. And then the psychic drone is still here. So that's not too bad, actually. Negative three if we can save more, more space by making multiple rooms here. And the fact that we could actually put three beds in here, no problem, probably. And we can also improve the environment by adding in flowers and stuff. And that will make everyone happier overall. So we'll put in a metal, we'll put in a wooden potted plant in here as well when somebody gets up. And we'll see if that we can improve the uh, environment in this room here. It's kind of the suite, this, this room right here. It's, it's, the, uh, it's the master bedroom. We'll see how that goes. If that does work, we're going to expand these other rooms out a little bit so that we can have uh, multiple people in each room. That'll be, that'll be a really good idea, I think. So negative eight for sharing a bedroom, plus five for a, a fancy room. Um, that's pretty cool. And once we get these beds in there now, now is he like really, is he really all about this now? Like, is it, is it a really cool room? Are you happy with it? Pleasant environment. Okay, cool. So pleasant environment plus spacious environment. Pretty cool. Okay, I think this, I think this might work. We'll get a plus 10 then for the room and then we'll get a negative eight for sharing a room. That's not too bad. We'll still be a plus two and everyone's mood will be uh, okay as far as sharing a bedroom and we'll save a lot of space overall. Uh, that'd, that'd be great. I don't want to have to have like a million rooms for everybody, uh, but if we can share bedrooms somehow, that'd be perfect. Okay, so we need to expand. If we're going to do this for real, we need to expand these rooms out then. Um, what can we do here? We can, uh, man, we need this to be a little bit bigger. We need to go one block this way, one block down that way. And that means this is going to have to go two blocks out. That's fine. That's not too bad. Okay, so we'll go. Are these conduit walls or are these regular walls? Regular, regular. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but if we have, if we can do two people per room, that's not too bad. And the fact that they won't always be sharing a bedroom. We can still have people in separate beds. Once we, we'll add more rooms on like this and they might still just, they won't only share beds if they have to. So uh, let's, let's add the structure on here. Then we'll do wooden walls, regular walls here. And we'll go wood wall and we'll go bam. And we'll go bam. We got to deconstruct that right there. And then we got to go uh, wooden wooden wall here. Should we put a kind of wall in now that we have the metal? I think that'd be a good idea to get get some power down to this side of the house. We need to go two out though. Now wood is not the most the best resource for uh, building stuff because it's so um, it's so flimsy. It's very very fragile of a material. So if we get if we get bombarded by like mortars and stuff, it's gonna go it's gonna go to hell. Um, all right, so now that we built this other wall here, we should be able to take this wall out safely. I think. I think, I think, I think. We'll see what happens the next day here. Well, another storm rolling in. And cool. I think we're good. And actually, I don't think we need to have light in there. Um, for people just going to sleep, I don't think they necessarily need lights even. Uh, so let's take, let's not even put that light back in there. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll put in another conduit wall. Oh, I think we'll do a regular wall here. Wooden wall here. And then we'll have deconstruction orders on all of this here. And make it a nice spacious interior for everybody. All right, let's do it. Cool. And no collapses this time. Awesome. All right, so now we can put the floors back in. And we'll, we'll cover up all my stone that I wasted, of course. And we'll have somebody uh, fix all that up. Plenty of wood still. Now that we have more colonists, I think I actually am going to make some more farms here too. So let's actually make another farm. Uh, is somebody researching? Oh, we didn't build a research table yet. I forgot about that. Um, okay, let's put the research table. Where can we put it? I wanted this to be a prison area, or not a prison area. I was, actually, this could be a nice research area. The prison area can be this room here. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll do um, miscellaneous research bench. We'll do a wooden research bench. Put it right there. Decent research area. Somebody will build that soon. And then we'll actually move these beds around a little bit, deconstruct these beds. We'll move those around a little bit. So that's nice and, nice and spacious in here. Uh, let's go... Uh, Furniture, beds, metal beds, metal beds, and no, it's 60 metal for a metal bed. It's crazy. Especially when you think of as metal as a finite resource. Do this. I don't think it necessarily needs to be uh, that wide apart. Actually, we could probably put another bed in the middle here or something. That might work. And we got three people in a single room. And then it's still, the mood bonus will affect all three of them, but the spacious interior and all that will affect all three of them as well. So I think it'll work in our favor. 
the other thing that concerns me about all of the, uh, the the lightning strikes going on is that we have all these wooden structures here right now, and, and if a wildfire could take out our entire colony very, very easily here. We have a turtle in the house. Oh, we got a pet tortoise. That's awesome. Yay, pet tortoise. Fantastic. I'm going to name it Dennis. Dennis the tortoise. All right, so now we need to think about uh, research. Now, we did research project, first of all. Carpet making takes 200 research points. Um, let's see what we want to do here. Tailoring is a new one. That'd be really cool. Use a tailor's workshop to make cloth, leather, and other materials. Really, really neat. I really want to do that at some point. Um, but I think stone cutting is the most important thing, so we can have stone walls and do some of these rock chunks that we've been uh, creating here. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll get um, we'll get Jensen should be once he wakes up. He should go research then. If he doesn't have anything else to do. Fantastic. All right. So next we want to set up another growing area. Uh, let's do zone growing area. Let's put it next to this one and we'll put it a little bit like we'll make it a little more square like that and we'll set it we can actually change the the uh growth on there to trees so we'll set it here serapia tree let's do uh, oak trees devil strand what do we use devil oh devil strand is for clothing that's right that's devil strand clothing that's right uh we can actually cotton we'll use when we're making actual uh clothing finally but we'll use the oak tree for now so we can get some more trees going in here easily and then we can just have somebody cut them all down once we're all ready here. So these will grow some, grow some new trees here. And we can actually have, we probably have to make some orders to, to farm out some of this area here. So let's let's get all these trees out of here that are, that are able to be cut down. And then we're actually going to wall this thing off eventually here too. That's the idea anyways. What is he? Is he? He's not dead? Uh oh. Um... A minigun? Well, let's get that. Weber, you need that for sure. Look, grab that minigun. Oh my god. I didn't know- I didn't realize that. He's he still- he's still- he's still alive. Weber, why don't you, uh... Take him out, please. This- this tortoise got caught in a line of fire here. I, I, that could have been really, really bad if this thing came alive all of a sudden. Can these things not die? Maybe they do die, but... Wow, it, it takes a lot. Oh wow, Pearl, did you just get shot? You gotta pay attention, Pearl. Yeah, you, you just got shot. Uh, who do we want to equip that thing now? Who's a good shot? Character shooting is a four. I think she should probably equip that next. Uh, Pearl, why don't you take this, equip that. All right, now we'll get, to get some treatment. Uh, we'll set this as a medical bed. So she might, well, she might want to use that one eventually. All right, we finally got it now. It is finally dead. Oh my God, that was... A little, a little scary that all of a sudden it wasn't actually dead. Oh, I gotta finish the job there, Weber. I made it let you go too soon. Oh man, we're out of meals again. I just had her cook 20 and she's already out again. Let's do 25 this time. Man, I guess we gotta be cooking meals like constantly. We really need somebody like constantly focused on it. So let's see what everybody's thoughts are about the room now. The room situation is uh, sharing a bedroom, eight. Spacious interior is a five. Eight raw food is a negative 10. Okay, so that's fine. His mood is low. But uh, overall, it's positive. No, and it's not quite positive. He's actually losing mood right now. So we need to think about spacious interior. We need to beautify the interior a little bit more, more pleasant, more pleasant environment. One way we can do that is by researching carpet making. We can put carpets in the uh, the floors. I think that makes make it those are more beautiful flooring then. So uh, people like that better, I think. Uh, so maybe once we have the, that research, we'll put that in here as well, um, so that we can uh, get that going. So Hillary and Jensen have to share a room right now, but overall they're not too worse off for it. Uh, she's oh man, she's not not maybe I was maybe I was mistaken. Sharing a bedroom is actually causing a big big problem for us. Negative negative eight for sharing a bedroom, man. That's that's quite a bit, and they're not they're not getting the bonus from the sh the. Uh, yeah, she gets a negative eight constantly too. Sharing a room is annoying. Yeah, now oh, she's hungry. She's angry about that. She's angry about everything. Come on, come on, Hillary. Um, she's in a good mood. She's always gonna be a good mood, though. I think one we could think we could we could try to do is rotate people through, as far as the sharing the rooms thing, maybe, because we can assign beds to people manually if we want to get that like micromanagey about it. But um, yeah, maybe that won't work. We'll see. This this might be a mistake as far as sharing rooms. We might want to have separate rooms and maybe just take the penalty of the the cramped environment over the sharing rooms, because the sharing rooms is a negative eight. I think cramped environment's a negative five. So it'd be easier to overcome somehow. So maybe we'll maybe we'll split these rooms up. 
Instead of having a 6x6, six six, we'll just make them smaller. I don't know. Hard to say what the best way of doing this is. I'm not quite sure, personally. Um, I thought that the sharing bedroom thing would work if we had a nice, like, spacious interior. But apparently it's not quite enough. We should haul this away. We can't. Okay, so I think it's going to do for this episode. We actually are coming together quite well in the colony. We got research being done. We got four colonists now. Things are going really, really well. And we'll be back for another episode very soon. So if you have any thoughts about the episode, you can leave them in the comments. If you do enjoy it, please leave a like, and I'll see you back next time for more. Have a good night.